Welcome back, everyone. He's a man that was raised in two cows, California and Calcutta, the old and the new world, and his experiences are the backdrop for his first novel, An Indian Family That Moves to the States. Uh, still grips to their Indian roots, but they've got a lot of family secrets, too, that unfold, but they can't help but to be influenced by the Western ways. The book titled Don't Let Him Know is getting rave reviews, and we're delighted to have the author, Sandeep Roy, with us this morning. How are you? Very good, Frank. Delighted to be here. You live in Calcutta. Here. You've been gone for four years. You're back in San Francisco. It must be nice, huh? It's always lovely to come back to San Francisco. Somebody told me it's like swimming in a warm pool and you just keep doing laps, laps back and forth. And then one day you get out and it's 20 years have gone by. I might, well, good point, good point. But I mean, there's so much to miss about San Francisco, you know. Well, your book is, give us a little synopsis ride. Maybe you can kind of set us up a little bit and then we'll, we'll dive in. Sure. As you said, it is a book about family secrets. It's a book, it opens with a young man in, in California, in Silicon Valley, a software engineer whose um, his mother, who's recently widowed, is visiting him. And he's found a little a scrap of a letter among her things, which he thinks is he's uncovered a family secret. He thinks this is a letter from his mother's old boyfriend or something. And he thinks he's going to bond with his mother because now he knows this bit about her. What he doesn't know is that the secret also has a secret. And his mother, decades ago, as a new bride recently arrived in the Midwest from Calcutta, had actually received that letter, but it was not really meant for her. And the book sort of goes back and forth, tracking the lives of this man, his mother, and his father in their youth as well as in their older age and the secrets they carry. And some secrets are kind of devastating about mm -hmm. sexuality, um, love affairs. Some are more just illicit pleasures like a burger at McDonald's <laughs> or things which, which you're not supposed to have. But they're all, you know, everybody in the family has some kind of a secret. Well, the father especially. The father especially. Uh, can we go down that yeah, road? Yeah, we can, we can go down that we'll road. Go, I don't want blur. to give away the book, but we find out that uh, he's attracted to men. He's yes, and he's, you know, he is somebody who, who was attracted to men, but at the time that he was growing up in India, there was very little you could do about that. You know, you might, bl uh, there, were no, there was no internet, imagine. There was no internet. Exactly. We had to live without internet. You know, no chat rooms, no gay organizations, mm -hmm. no gay bars, um, you know, no pride parade. None of the ways with which people are used to meeting other people right now. So there's a tremendous sense of isolation. And many, and the father's characters, like many men in India who might have been identified as gay, but ended up getting married because they didn't really see any way to live as a gay man. And you see in his story a little bit of the change that's happened in India as well, because at one point in the book, he comes, you know, this is post-internet age, and he comes to this gay party in Calcutta, and you it walks in as if to a wonderland, room full of gay people dancing, singing, Bollywood music playing. And I wanted to track a little bit about, you know, what poignancy he must feel at thinking that he's around to witness it, but it just wasn't there when he was 25. I'm running out of time, but it's your first book. What did you learn about writing it quickly? Before? I learned that you have to just keep doing it. You have to put on your writing hat and you have to, I only had to think about a beginning and an end and then work on joining the bits together. Your great grandmother's mango chutney, is that for real? Because you talk about, you describe it in delicious detail in here. It is for real. She used to make that and Frank, I really miss that mango chutney. Well, Never it had oozes, it like that. I got, I got news for you, it oozes out of the pages. <laughs> and I heard you read it on NPR. It's, it's delightful. So nice to meet you. Welcome we'll back you. home. Thank and you. Uh, all the best with the book. You can get Sandeep's book online and in stores. That's our show, folks. And by the way, you've got an event in Oakland, Oakland this week. Soul Space on Tuesday, March 3rd at 7 p.m. Go check it out. Have a good week, everybody. We'll see you again next week right here on Bay Sunday.